Hello and welcome to the Norwood Suite. We're here at the Norwood Hotel once again for episode 4. I'm Dexter. I'm being looked at. Here's a button. I don't actually know what we're doing. I've forgotten. It's been maybe a week since I played this. <laughs> I should have taken a look. <laughs> I keep doing that. I d I've noticed that I don't pay attention. I, I know that I don't pay attention to uh, like this sort of stuff as much as I could have, no, can I pull the, I could have pulled the elevator down here the whole time, can I? Cause there's like this button there. Alright, um, I had to go find some paintings. That's what I had to do. I'm so busy like learning other stuff that I just, I do not remember anything that I ever do in games. Alright, we had to go find some paintings and, and, and poke them. There's a painting. Can we poke it? Yeah, and I need... Wait. Don't tell my father I'm not working on the quartet. It's like, yeah, this is... she's new. She wasn't here before. Let's just say my focus is drifting. Like some sort of Tokyo drag racer. I tried playing that melody on the piano behind me. But my inspiration's tapped out. Perhaps you'd do a better rendition of it than I, stranger. All these old cronies here on the wall. Rumor has it they made most of the musical heavy, li heavy lifting. Or it was her voice. And Norwood just left his name on them for his product. Smart guy that Norwood. You know, my company takes all the credit for work I do. Me and my colleagues just churning it out. But the company keeps us comfortably on the wheel. Kind of saps any desire to be creative after hours, no? I won't take that communistic talk here. The, the 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 owners of the means of production have every right to the profit of your labor. They have the money after all. I used to scribble metagotic motifs inside the lines of my math homework. I couldn't help it. Teachers would dock my grades for doodling. They didn't realize what I'd end up doing every day anyway. I do all my best work at coffee shops and libraries. I remember one time I submitted my jingle for Yaya -Ya Cakes. And five seconds later, a brief spilled coffee all over my laptop. The money I made from the track would end up buying me a much nicer laptop. Several much nicer laptops. Ten much nicer laptops. The Medulo may think that they have the deal locked up, but they underestimate my father. He's a walking encyclopedia on facts and policy. He always finds some angle. And if his opponents play dirty, he's got the public behind him. Why doesn't the Modulo just quit now? It would save them a lot of money that they could buy on laptops. Move to my. Okay, we're back. Alright, I've had a talk with you. I've got a bust. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm a musical genius. I, that was me stepping on it. I played that. All right, those, you know, you know, it looks complicated, but Schmess is actually pretty easy to learn. Do I gotta press on that guy's head? Kind of looks like I could press on it. I gotta go find some paintings of Norwood and press on them. I thought I saw something walking out there, and it really freaked me out. See ya. I gotta go find some pay things to push. Maybe up here. Okay. You ever seen the skulls of babies? They're terrifying because of the teeth. They're really... Like, you'd think that a skull of a baby would be sad, but I'm just like... Get out of here, monster! Don't make me see this! Like, just anger and, and, and horror. Which is, is like you wouldn't you wouldn't think that would be the response to seeing like that a weird thing to go on about. All right, I'm gonna stop before I put my foot all in my mouth. Here's a photograph. There we go. Boop. Take it. Piano key for the note of E flat. All right, we gotta go find some more photographs. So that was one. Okay. Hi. 
looking at me. I'm being watched. I'm being watched everywhere. We gotta go find some more photographs. This looks like a door to somewhere. Uh, hey, your daughter is not working, by the way. June wandered off, stranger. It's night, nights like these where we all need a little time to reflect. Perhaps a moment spent playing a piano for the. Myers is still sharp, stranger. I'll hear it from here. No music on the piano stand, Norwood's old theme. I'm impressed the hotel didn't throw it out. Alas, I have too much work to do to indulge my musical pleasures. I have to spend a lot of time for preparing for meetings like this one tomorrow. Wasn't he German? But some Maduro tomorrow is for everything they can at me. My victory in situations like this always comes at a cost. Maybe Nadia should just have let some Maduro have their way. Then I could withhold my most potent argument. That would make this whole affair so much easier. So much less messy than it's going to get tomorrow. But that's not what I'm getting paid for, is it, stranger? I guess not. My daughter June, she's as sharp as she is stubborn. Sure, I cultivated her musical talents alongside her mother. But I didn't realize that she would channel them towards advertising. I hope someday she'll embrace her true musical voice. But I feel that voice goes duller as the paychecks go larger. Alright. I don't want to talk to these people. Blue Moosey got me lukewarm. I missed the conversation I could have had with him and his girlfriend, maybe. I'm just hang on. Am I being watched? I should do that in real life. Just walk up to people and start talking. I'm like, hang on. Am I being watched? Is somebody watching us? You got blue with the moose. It's warm. You can be sure I'll be giving Nadia the appropriate feedback. Courtney, I'm not sure this person even works here. I don't even work anywhere. I don't exist. You're talking to yourselves. You probably suffered probably better suited piano playing than you are running errands. Don't get all contradictory on me now that you have a free agent hands. I wouldn't exactly call myself a free agent. I get paid. After all. Says the guy that stipped, skipped out of every team meeting I, I organize. Total time wasters. Time wasters, eh? If I were still your manager, I'd punch you in the face. Mercifully, no longer. You beat your employees, man? It's messed up. Alright. Did you notice that... What happened? Alright, so, yeah, okay. Let's go confront that person that's been staring at me. Also... Oh, that's not right. That's downstairs. Are those more hands? Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah, we did shoes. And uh, where's the last one? They were looking at me from right here. And now they're over there, I bet, if I went over there. Yeah, okay, so I did that one. Now I'm going to go find the other last one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I did that one. Okay, we got some stair situation. Yeah, that one we did. That one we did. Yeah, and then we got that, and we got that. So the, we need to find those those stairs that rise up towards each other. Oh, I used to know what that was called. I think I knew I used to know what that was called. So we gotta find some stairs that sort of run up to each other. And the best place for looking for stairs is the top floor. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Uh, that's the library over there. I don't think I should be up here. Uh, this was the room from before. The one I got my thumbnail from. All right, I gotta find some. It's disturbing. All right, that's the Norwood suite. Brick wall, brick stairs, brick. We've got the pool here. I don't know where the stairs could be. Probably walked over them before. Hey. Okay, oh, hang on. Where is that exactly in the barn? In the barn. I guess we'll go downstairs. 
more people throwing knives. Gotta find those stairs. It's right here. Yeah, this is the barn. And there's that. I don't know where the stairs are though. I'll probably skip all this wandering around until I find the stairs. How? There's many of you. I'm just messing with me. Alright. Where are the stairs? Dude, I'm coming, Mr. DJ Bogart. I totally should have walked the opposite way when I came up here. Right. It's gets a little leggy out here. I could record other like HD games, but I had to like pull this one down to 720p for it to record. And I've tested with other HD games and I never had a problem. But I just think this is badly optimized. Alright, um There's stairs, man. So I can keep you over here. There's no way. Wouldn't be that close, but it's gotta be on the bottom floor. These kinda look like the stairs. I don't wanna talk to you guys. Blip blip. Ooh, green. That's really disturbing. Kind of got chills in my back. Why do I slow down and walk into the kitchen? All right, well, I'm just confused as to where that could be. I'll go back and check. Microtonal ecstasy. Mm, been there, done that. It's near the library. Where the hell is that? Down there, down there, up in there. Like stairs there. Brown floor, green, green wallpaper. Green wallpaper is literally everywhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's like right here. Alright. Alright, here it is. Beep. And we got it. We did it, baby. Sleep, get Freddy on the phone. Eh. I don't really want to listen in on her conversation because now I want to go play the song. All right, so it was just like right there. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Okay, here we are. We're back at the place and we're gonna put the. I can't hang on. We, there we go. Put it in. There it is. That looks like where it goes, right there. Did I already put it in? Yeah, okay. And then there. Okay, so. Okay, so that's. We'll be up there.
I did it. Me. I'm the... Don't tell my father. Okay, well, I opened up the wall. So if you want to look behind the looking glass, this is the eighth tableau. Man, how many tableaus are there? Okay, we got a uh, film reel. Like, look, I secretly recorded you. She's like, <laughs> I know it. It's like, I secretly recorded you. And it's like, I, I didn't know. Okay. Ooh. Heart. Don't worry, everybody. I've arrived. I don't feel like I should be here. What's this say? Mr. Norwood. I just wanted to say how great it was meeting you after your concert. Incredible music as always. I know you mentioned wanting to hear me play for you next to Thursday at your clinic on 5th Street. My class ends at 30 minutes before it starts. What? Oh. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention because I was reading it aloud. But I'm going to hop in a cab for it. Looking forward, Gabe. Alright. You ever have that where it's like you're reading something out loud and then you're not like actually paying attention to what you're saying? Where are we? Is this the Norwood Suite? We're in the Norwood Suite. My god. Is it like cats behind waves? I wonder if these are like different. I wonder what these are. I wonder what these are. My first thought was like animal sounds because I saw the cat. But I mean, how would I be able to tell? Peter! This is three years later after that other one. Uh, I wanted you to. I wanted to thank you again for having me at your estate this week. Getting to immerse myself alongside your ensemble was a real treat. The crowd on Sunday, unbelievable. Back in the city, it just isn't quite the same. But I am trying to put together my own ensemble in your honor. Very inspiring, Gab Gabe D. P.S. Can we reschedule our next lesson an hour later than usual? Roommate drama again. One of my roommates murdered my other one. <laughs> All right, hello, don't mind me, stranger. All right. That's what I want to be when I grow up. I'm not, shut up. Don't even talk to me. I see you're moving in new and unexpected directions. You and I both, stranger. Uh, some of us more than others. It appears you need a costume for the club. Huh? DJ Bogart is notoriously picky about who he lets into his party. You'll need to do a thorough job of crafting a good outfit. Most of the guests, whether they realize it or not, can guide you to what you seek. As for you, this picture will lay it out. A formal shirt will be crucial. Slick shoes for dancing. Outrageous pants for stalking the Sahara. A singularly or sub Saharan Africa. A singularly intimidating necklace. A devious mask to hide your true identity. A tall hat to elevate your height. A monocle so that you can see others' true motives. And definitely a fake beard. That way people think you're older than you actually are. A 12-year-old boy. A co the costume mannequin for putting this all together is straight ahead by the clock tower face. None of the other guests will be as stylishly bold as you. I sure, you... Uh, can I? Sure, yes. Pity them. Are you saying you pity them or I should? All right, well. Let's see, I have the fake beard so that people will not know that I'm actually a 12-year-old Menchkin. I don't know if that's offensive. I was trying to say child and I was trying to switch it up. I don't know. And a sandwich. No, I thought I would have had more by now, but uh, I haven't. 
Murphy. Also, by the way, munchkins, if that's not super offensive, uh, can have beards. So I don't even know what that's what I even meant to imply. Oh, look, it's like I can be like Samson. Tear this whole place down. Eight. All right. What did what did zero say to eight? Hey, nice belt. You like that? Does that make you laugh? Am I funny? Do you want to like, comment, and subscribe now? Like, comment, and subscribe if you thought that was funny. That joke I stole. Ooh, it's my cow cemetery. I have that, but it's not for cows. Ooh, more, more stuff. Peter Norwood. Dude, you keep a... In the Norwood suite? Keeps a photograph of him. Dear Peter, I know it's been a long time, but I wanted to touch base. I had a specific question regarding certain techniques in your most recent book of etudes. I've tried to play them, but as ever, I can not bar I can barely make it through without needing... Needing to... I don't know what that means. It looks like it says my, and then time. Um, my students, however, have more stamina, but also questions. I've included them in audio form on the tape attached to this litter. If you could please get back to me on these questions, I'd greatly appreciate it. As for me, things are fine. I'm still in the city, still playing in a ton of bands, and my students keep me busy. It's hard work, but I guess it suits me. Hope to see you at one of your concerts soon. Best Gabe D. City Hospital. Written from the papers of the City Hospital. Incorporated. And I can't make it out. Gabe D. Is Gabe D sick? There's a second level. Let's go up there first and then we'll check the kitchen. Not the kitchen. Oh, here's another thing. Oh. Good. Hi, Peter. This is from in between the first and second letters. I mean, after the first and second letters, but before the last one we just read. Hi, Peter. Good seeing you at your 30th anniversary concert on Sunday. Wanda loved it. I just wanted to formally follow up on our conversation about booking agents and management. I know your manager had expressed interest in hearing my work, and I wanted to make sure that I had all his contact info correct before I sent him my tapes. Also, if you could please point me in the direction of an appropriate booking agent for overseas concerts, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks again, Gabe D. So it looks like they were friends for like nine years. What does that say over there? Kev's wallet passport. Keys, wallet, passport, gloves. Ah! Like a checklist when you're going out. So he's a. Jet hopping, jet setting, jet setter. Ooh, horrifying. That's a real piece of artwork, right? It's familiar. Something like that's familiar. Okay, that door doesn't work. Anything behind this bed frame? Can I hop down here? Yep. Okay, that's his trophy. Uh, I have one, two, three of the items. Hat, mon I need monocle, necklace, I need all that. What's in here? It's circled. Here's the last letter. I hope this, Peter, I hope this letter finds you well. I've tried reaching out to you by telephone, but your old number no longer works. So thanks in advance for fielding this. You may recall giving me a rough sketch of your bathtub minuet about ten years ago when I visited you at your, visited you at your estate. Ah, memories. The piece was either handwritten by you or copied by hands. I can't recall, but there's been interest in it from a prominent sheet music collector. Over. Normally, I wouldn't let something like this go, but... He's offering a decent amount of money, and I could use it at this moment in time. I just need a signed letter from you verifying that you did actually give me the bathtub minuet back in July 1968. You can write, respond, 
writes crossed out, respond on the return uh, address of this letter. I hope you're well. Do you have any shows planned? If so, let me know if there's room on the guest list. Gabe D. I wonder if this is actually like a, a language, not like a language, because I don't think it is, but like an actual like replacement text for any of the English letters. And there's actually something written there. Is there like something wrong with my neck? Like I have like a growth? All right, well, I got into the Norwood suite. And uh, I got the record needle, so. Let's go bring that down to the record people. Oh yeah, that's the Norwood Etudes. All right, we're here at the at the record at the record people. Are you ready for rock and roll? How about weird music instead? Very exciting. Let's rotate the needle. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh yeah, my ears are getting thirsty. Wait for it. Wait for it. Is this a spoken word album? What is this? Are you sure this is even a Norwood record at all, Miss Davis? Uh, I got this at the Hotel Norwood take sale some years back. The woman I bought it from couldn't sell me it fast enough. The label just says Norwood Suite written in a marker. A test pressing, perhaps? Stranger, if you'd be so kind, I left another actual record of this trunk of uh, the junk of my car. This record is in the trunk. Multiple copies of same records? You're obsessed, Miss Davis. Almost like I am with drugs. Usually I buy records from an actual collector's. Mint condition. Not this one, though. Anyway, stranger, it's in the car trunk. Don't mind the mess, meth meth in there. Thanks. Oi, be quick. Very demanding. I heard numbers in there, like 17, and then I think it ended on 5. I'm not gonna tell your father. I'm not friends with your father. go down to the parking lot and open up that trunk that I couldn't open up before because that's what I do I just walk around opening up people's trunks like some sort of trunk opening maniac all right that's got to be your car because it's the only one I haven't purloined yeah oh a mask I need a mask so that nobody knows my true identity Cool. And then, you know, screw you and your music. All you have is paint in here. Alright. I have a mask. Ah, oh, so cool. I'm gonna be so handsome after this. Let's go back upstairs. And remember what my quest was that I had to do. Because I don't remember. I got a mask. I'm coming for you. Maybe. I don't know. You know what? I'm actually comfortable with whoever that... Whoa. They disappeared, man. What did you need again? You needed... Don't tell my father. I'm not working on the quartet. Focus is drifting. Playing the melody on the, melody on the piano. Do, do a better rendition of it. All these cronies here on the wall. Yeah, I did do that, though. Alright, so I did that. And, um, let's continue playing. I can't remember everything I'm supposed to do, but... Oh. What? Huh? Oh yeah, wasn't there something to do with this guy? I gave him shorts and now he should be swimming, right? I can't remember because it's been like... Where did these... These people didn't need anything, right? Like, I just talked to them and they didn't... They just talked forever. And they never said they wanted anything. Alright, 
it's yeah, it's all mine. Thanks a lot. This concierge, can you help me a bit? This fellow who has fallen asleep by the pool, he hasn't entered his room yet. Two and nine, perhaps he's avoiding it. You might want to scope it out yourself. So branding and two curious for their own good. The theater mezzanine. Clearly they've got their eye on that Nordy Toads book. But there's a reason the Etudes are locked in a glass casement. A lot of people hurt themselves playing those Etudes over the years. Tragic, really. Good thing our security access stop. Accessing it would require a trip through a spa locker area. Not a place I want to spend my time. You found a spa voucher in the lost and found? Fascinating. My colleagues at the front desk can help get you access to a spa locker. Still, we have no longer employing a masseuse. You have to make it the best with what you have, stranger. My security team shows that you're poking around the places you shouldn't. The Nord Suite, eh? And yet perhaps you can find the means to form your costume. All the same. That's all I got for now. Alright, I need a spa locker. And there's somebody hanging out by the pool. I should have checked my inventory. Spa gift card? Let me take a look at that. I haven't seen one of these in years. Where'd you find that? An old coupon book? Yes, I found it in an old coupon book. Such a shame that Nadia had to let the masseuse go five years ago. You fancied him, eh? Oh no, I have your accent also, uh, Dotti. I liked how he worked on my lower lumbar, Sandro, if that's what you mean. Here we go, stranger. Kate Locker, 29. Here's the key to your spa locker. Do you even remember the last time we cleaned out the spa lockers? It's been a while. And so no masseuse. You get what you pay for. Alright. Uh, bye. Let's go to locker 29. And then visit the pool. They want to get to the Norwood Toots. I don't think I've talked to those people over there yet. Or Wait, this is new. My students are long gone at this point. No doubt waiting to get into that dopey par dance party upstairs. They show a lot of promise, but they're easily distracted. Once aspiring musicians realize what it takes to commit to their craft, I certainly know how hard it is to stay committed and what it's cost me. I grew up with Norwood's concert posters on my wall. I have pictures of him shaking hands with world leaders. It meant a lot to me seeing Norwood treated with such esteem. But where those posters and pictures are now? From some archive in some warehouse, probably. Oh god. What? Oh. Oh no, I gotta go through your whole dialogue again. This is the woman from before? She had a wig on, yeah? Alright. I accidentally walked through her. Are you eating a donut? Okay. Let's get through this. Okay, let's talk some more. Is there more to talk to you about? No. Okay, never mind. That was a waste of time. I'm sorry, I wasted everyone's time. I'm a loser, okay? I admit it. I'm a loser. Loser. Yeah, these are the people I haven't talked to. I don't want to either. They're my dear little people. I want to do some questing around looking at stuff because I just read a lot of dialogue, so... I'll come back to them afterwards. Uh, 29... The spa locker is through... Wait. 1 to 40. It's through... Hang on. It's down... This way, right? Yeah. Okay, 29... Right there. I don't like how it goes up both ways. Alright. Alright. Take the monocle so that I can see. Summer of 94. Okay. You got Norwood's monocle. Alright. I got the Norwood monocle. I have a mask and a monocle. Now I just need some outrageous pants. All right, let's go. I'm well known for my inrageous pants. 
Oh, there's stairs here? Whoa. Hey, what's up, Noodle Man? Oh, just what I needed. A stranger. Um, this feeling. Submergence. Incomparable. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out my spy locker. 18. I'm pretty sure it's coming on to me. Whatever's in there, it's yours. It's just a picture of... It's just like... Uh, it's just like a, a, a valentine saying that it's his heart is in there. Uh, and since I can hear music coming from the theater, feel free to accompany the hotel sound system with your own piano playing. I know the theater has an old piano, so I can tell you've got that touch, stranger. You're totally coming on me, man. It's been a while since I stored anything in that old locker. Security is pretty loose. As everyone knows. All right, Blue Moose's advertising strategy, I'll admit, has been always unorthodox. We don't buy ad space on subway trains. Yeah, no, we already. Yeah, this was the that was that guy. All right, have fun, Noodle Man. Uh, let me get down here. Oh, isn't this where I came out? Yeah, I came out from here, right? Wait. Whoa. Didn't I? Yeah, I came up from here before. Oh, it doesn't look familiar because I had um, the brightness on my screen was way low. Yeah, I came out of here. This was through a spa locker. Um, his spa locker was, did he say 18, I think? He didn't give me a key. Uh, I'm gonna talk to... No, I think it was 18. Let's go back to 18, eh? Alright, have fun. I like the mustache, though. That's the other lockers. 18 is over here. Oh yeah, this was him. He had the 18, yeah. Okay, yeah. That was it. Never mind, I forgot. Alright, um, next step. I have a sandwich, and that's I have to bring down. I don't know who I have to... Oh, some more people have arrived. Oh, hang on, let me eavesdrop first. I always want to know what it was like back here in Norwood's time. One story comes to mind about Mingo de Pants. You know Mingo de Pants? Every violinist knows, I know, knows the Mingo de Pants technique. Back in the summer of 68, I heard him working on this great little melody. Peter wanted Mingo's melody interwoven into his own Norwood violin, but, but Mingo liked his melody so much he wanted to use it in his own work. Predictably, Norwood started throwing things at him, threatening him, murdering him, covering it up with the police. Jeff the Disco Fiddler Grublins? That's not... The, before the, he became the Disco the Fiddler, he was in music. Scott, uh, dropout. We couldn't see him all the time. To see him. I guess Mingo de Pants realized what was at stake. So Mingo's melodies became overwoven into Norwood G flat. Norwood's recording of it went on to sell a hundred million, thousand billion copies, and got licensed by a spy movie. My father says Mingo didn't see a dime from any of that, and yet it also kept Mingo in the ensemble. A few mere years of fancy meals and fancy frowning crowds, sure, but he left eventually, along with everyone else. And Norm, when Norwood's circle eventually diminished. His own visibility and renown went down, and finally, just as we all knew, he vanished. Vanished, 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 vanished. Alright, let's have a chat. My students have had it, stranger. All that's left is spinning record is a spinning record at Norwood's old piano. I think I saw one of Norwood's melodies on the piano stand. Try playing it and see if you can't feel some of that old Norwood magic. Magic indeed, before I get before I met you, I'd never gotten to talk with anyone with first-hand stories of Norwood's inner circle. It's not like I'd gone into hiding, honey. Well, you certainly kept the low profile all these years. I'm surprised music historians aren't all over you. Who said they're not? My father just did the hard work. I was just around. He'd practice eight hours a day. I'd play outside most of the time. No visitors in the theater while he was on the clock. Not even me. 
it always seems like it seems like there's always someone out there setting the high bar. Yeah. Norwood vanished. How'd your father manage to take such good care of himself through that time? He's upstairs, like completely insane. Actually, my father got by on instinct. He knew he could hang with Norwood. He lived. He knew he could hang with Norwood. He lived to serve the music. Is that the end of your conversation? You don't seem to care that Norwood went vanished. That was after my father moved back to the city. He got a gig playing in a big musical. You might have heard of the show, Blondes on a Beach. It's really insensitive to say to a bald woman. Your father played on Bald in the Beach. Bald in the Beach. <laughs> After Norwood, how could he stand that? I know, I know. Blondes in the Beach isn't exactly Norwood's quartet. And D. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no! You're damn. You could have warned me. You could see. You're damn right. But he managed to place the show for 24 years straight. I was like, he's up. Oh my god! Blondes on a beach put me through college. Did any of the other members of the orchestra pit know he was connected to Norwood? Everyone just keeps their head down in the orchestra pit. According to my father, it was show up. Play the show, go home. Creepy leaves. You know what? I was doing the same thing, just right where you were. Right where you are, I mean. His last show was special, though. Definitely the star treatment. The union threw him a party at... Slates just go off? At Sorties. Got him a lemon cake. But no one ever acknowledges to work with Norwood that whole time? I think a few other musicians over the years have not have known something, but none of them stuck around like he did. What about the other players in Norwood's circle? Who knows what happened to them? I can't believe a member of Norwood's circle would go on to play Blondes on a Beach. He's right there, man. Times change. So that's the end of the conversation, please. Okay. Why you gotta smile? Uh, uh, I don't like it. I was trying to think of this. Never mind. Um, okay. How would you like it if I just stood here and stared at you? I bet he'd like it. Uh, I guess I should talk to them, but I'll do it in the next episode of the Norwood Suite. Which will be episode five, and we're gonna find some more. We found a mask and a monocle. We got Nord. We got actually got into the Norwood suite today, so that was sweet. I'll see you in the next episode of this, this weird game. Until then, bye. Thank you.